Hello, my dear students. How are you all? I hope that you all are fine. Today, we shall study about shapes and angles. Let's start. Rohini and Mohini are twin sisters. They love doing the same things. One day, when they were making shapes with matchstick, one of their friends, Shaila, gave them a challenge. Rohini will make a shape. Mohini has to make the same without looking at it. But she can ask questions. It means that she can ask questions about the shape that Rohini has made. Mohini says, Oh, it's so simple. Let's see whether making the same shape was really so easy for Mohini. Now, Rohini and Mohini are sitting with their faces in opposite directions. They are not looking towards each other. Rohini made this shape. Now, Mohini is trying to make the same shape by asking many questions from Rohini. Mohini asked Rohini, Is it a closed shape or an open shape? Rohini said, It is a closed shape. Mohini asked, How many sides are there? Rohini said, It has six sides. So, on this basis, Mohini made this shape that you are watching on your screen. So students, now you carefully look at this shape and answer these questions. Is it a closed shape? Students, in geometry, a closed shape is one whose straight or curved lines are joined with each other. If we start moving from one point in a closed shape, then we reach the same point at the end. As you are watching in this triangle, all its sides are joined and Closed. Similarly, this quadrilateral, pentagon, hexagon, all these are closed shapes. Similarly, in this shape made by Mohini, all the sides are joined and closed. So, it is a Closed shape. Next question is Does it have six sides? Let's count one, two, three, four, five, 
and six. Yes, it has six sides. Thus, we saw that Mohini made a closed figure and it had six sides. But it is not the same shape as the one made by Rohini. So, Mohini tried again. Now, Mohini made this shape that you are watching on your screen. Now, students, tell me again is it a closed shape with six sides? Yes, it is a closed shape and it has six sides. Is it the same shape as the one made by Rohini? No, we can clearly see that it is not the same shape which was made by Rohini. So, students, can you find out in what way these shapes are different from each other? Dear students, if you see carefully, you will find that the way of putting the sticks in these shapes are different. Mohini tried again a few times and then could make the correct shape. Guess and make two different shapes that Mohini could have made. My dear students, if Mohini had focused on angles between the sticks, she would have made stick and the shape much easier. Now, let us understand the difference between closed figures and open figures with the help of some pictures. You can watch some shapes on your screen. You can see that all sides of these shapes are joined with each other. But on the right side, all sides of these figures are not joined. It is clear by merely seeing that shapes on left are joined so they are closed shapes whereas the shapes on the right side are not joined so they are not closed they are open shapes I hope the difference between closed shapes and open shapes is clear to you. Let's have a look at angles now. Angles Dear students, now let's learn about angles. The inclination or bend of two rays or line segments or lines when they meet each other at a point is known as angle. You can see if two rays are closer to each other then the angle is smaller. If these rays move away 
from each other then the angle between them becomes larger so students let's measure an angle with the help of this protractor this is called a protractor or d as you can see there are numbers 0 10 20 30 40 up to 90 and then up to 180 on one side and on the upper side the numbers are decreasing from 180 170 160 150 to 90 and again decreasing to 0 these numbers represent angles and they are in degrees like this is 0 degree 10 degrees 20 degrees 30 degrees and so on now you can see there are numbers written 0 and 180 on this side and again 0 and 180 on this side so which side we will see that i'll tell you later on first of all you will be seeing this black line here at the bottom this is taken as the base of the d and this point in the middle this is called the middle point all right now let's learn how to measure an angle that is given to us here we can see two rays are meeting at this point o we have to measure its angle that is the inclination of these rays now what we will do we will take this protractor the first thing that we have to do is that we will join this point with this point o again i'm saying this point of d or protractor will be joined with this point o before that let me write here A and let me write here B. We have taken these points A and B. Now we have to the join these points. See, this point I'm joining with O. Here it is. But you can see this baseline is not coinciding with the line at the bottom. We have to make sure that these lines are on top of each other. See. I'm moving my D in such a way that this point joins as well as this line, the black line, the bottom line of the D coincides or joins with the ray OA. Now students, what we will do? Always remember Always remember from this point O if the line that is the ray is on right side then you will take 0 on the right side. If this A was on the left side of this point of the D then we would have taken 0 on the left side. But in this case, as you can see, the ray lies on the right side. As you can see here, the ray lies on the right side. So that is why we will take 0 at the right side. So right side 0 is on the inner side. We will now see the position of the other ray. We will now see the position of the other ray. Let's see. This is 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. And here you can see. This bigger line represents 80 degrees. Alright. And when I put my D down, you can see that. Let me first yeah you can see that this bigger line the bigger line coincides with 80 degrees what does it mean 
that this ray OB is at an inclination of 80 degrees from OA. That is, this angle is 80 degrees. So, this way students, we have found the measure of this angle. This angle is called angle B O A. How do we write that? The point where the angle is made or where the rays are joining that is written in the middle. O point we have written in the middle and the other two points are written on the sides like B O A. We can also write it as angle A O B. Both are the same. Co angle B O A as well as angle A O B. Both means both mean this angle O and this is equal to 80 degrees. So this way students we can measure angles with the help of a protractor. I hope you will try yourself making some angles or joining two rays and measuring an angle with them. One thing more I want to tell you that is suppose any ray meets instead of here a ray meets here. So what do we do? Let me zoom it and tell you. Yeah, suppose some ray meets here, the other ray comes here. The, what do we do? This is 80 degrees. After that, there are small lines. So these represent, first line represents 80 plus 1, 81 degrees. Next one is 82 degrees, 83 degrees, 84 degrees. This a little bigger line represents 5. So 80 plus 5 is 85 degrees. 86 degrees, 87 degrees, 88 degrees, 89 degrees and the next one is 90 degrees. Alright, so like we earlier had position like this. Suppose the position is like this. So what angle is this? So what do we do? We will do, see 80, 81, 82, 83 and 84. So that angle will be 84 degrees. I hope you are now well aware about how to use protractor. You can watch few shapes on your screen. Can you see any difference in these shapes? Yes, the difference is the angles between the sides in these shapes. Now let's watch the shapes made by Rohini and Mohini. We can see that making the angles bigger or smaller brings about the change in the shape. You can also try the same with some math sticks. Also, if the size of the math sticks is same, even then the change in angles will change the shape. Now, isn't it interesting? Students, now see. Are the yellow angles equal in these shapes? Yes, the yellow angles are equal to each other. Similarly, are the green angles equal to each other? Yes, the green angles are equal to each other. Again, are the blue angles equal to each other? Yes, the blue angles are equal to each other.
स्टूडेंट्स डू यू नो वाई आर दे इक्वल दिस इज बिकॉज पेंटागन्स हैगजगन्स और ऑक्टागन्स और एनी पॉलीगन विथ इक्वल साइड हैव इक्वल एंगल्स दिस इज वॉय ऑल द एंगल्स आर इक्वल नाउ कैन यू फाइंड एंगल्स इक्वल टू द रेड एंगल मार्क दैम विद रेड कलर यू कैन सी ऑन द स्क्रीन दट वी हैव ए रेड एंगल वी हैव टू फाइंड एंगल्स इक्वल टू दिस रेड एंगल एंड मार्क दैम विद रेड कलर डू द सेम with other colors similarly you can find equal angles to the yellow angle and mark them with yellow color and can find equal angles to the green angle and mark them with green color now isn't it interesting students to find equal angles and marking them in different colors now do you know all angles of the pentagon are equal to the red angle this is because all sides of the pentagon are equal so all angles of the pentagon will also be equal now change the angles of each shape and see what kind of new shapes you can make let's try here is a shape we can see it is a square How many matchsticks are there in this square? Let's count. One, two, three, and four. So, the first shape has four matchsticks. Can you change its angles and make new shapes? Now, see when we change the angles, the shape also. changes students this is a very interesting game you can play it at your home too with math stick you can take some math sticks and then form some shapes then you can keep changing their angles and try to make new shapes similarly we have eight sticks in the next figure you can arrange these sticks like this in the beginning and then change the angles between them you should take care that the sticks remain joined to each other so that it remains a closed shape so you can make new shapes by changing the angles between these eight sticks next we have five math sticks and with these five math sticks we have made this shape you can change its angles and try to make new shapes similarly in the next shape we have seven sticks and in the next we have 10 sticks in these shapes so students you can make new shapes by changing their angles isn't it interesting you can easily get math sticks at home 
try to make different shapes then change their angles and make new shapes out of them you can play interesting games with your friends too now let's play another interesting game students as you're watching on your screen make a fish by using eight math sticks as shown in this picture now students you can see that we have made this beautiful fish using eight math sticks now move three math sticks from their position to a new position in such a way that the direction of the fish reverses in the opposite direction so students game is very simple there are eight math sticks and we made a fish with them now we have to shift three math sticks from their original position to a new position such that the fish seems to swim in opposite direction remember how many sticks you can move three let's see whether you can solve it or not let me help you in this as you can see on your screen you can see these three faded sticks this means that they were here earlier and now they have shifted to new position according to the arrows shown these three arrows 1 2 3 show the shifting of math sticks from their original position to these new positions due to which the fish seems to swim in opposite direction isn't it interesting now students let's learn some more things about angles shela told that her mother had told her many things about angles angles the inclination between rays or line segments is known as an angle let me repeat the inclination between rays or line segments is known as an angle the two rays that make the angles are known as the arms of the angle now types of angles there are seven main types of angles zero angle acute angle right angle obtuse angle straight angle reflex angle and complete angle let's learn about them one by one zero angle students if the inclination or bend between the two rays making an angle is zero then the angle is said to be zero angle as you can see that the two rays coincide with each other and there is no inclination between them so this angle is known as zero angle next is acute angle an angle which is greater than 0 degree and 
smaller than 90 degrees is known as an acute angle. So, acute angle is between 0 and 90 degrees. For example, 50 degree, 60 degree, 35 degree, 80 degree. All these are acute angles as they are bigger than 0 degree and smaller than 90 degree. Now, right angle. Students, an angle of measure 90 degrees is known as a right angle. You can see a right angle in your rooms, walls, doors, books and many other things. You can see many angles of 90 degrees around you. All these are known as right angles. Next we have obtuse angle. An angle which is greater than 90 degrees but smaller than 180 degrees is known as an obtuse angle. Here you can see on your screen this kind of an angle is an obtuse angle. Next is straight angle. An angle of measure 180 degrees is known as a straight angle. Now in a straight angle, both the rays are exactly in opposite direction. And the angles made by these opposite rays are known as straight angles and the measure of a straight angle is 180 degrees. Next is reflex angle. An angle whose measure is more than 180 degrees but less than 360 degree. Such an angle is known as reflex angle. Here you can see on your screen this kind of an angle is known as a reflex angle and you can see that it is greater than the straight angle but less than a complete angle that is 360 degree. Now let's learn about Complete angle. Dear student, an angle of measure 360 degrees is known as a complete angle. If the inclination between two rays is 360 degrees, then the angle is said to be a complete angle. It looks like a zero degree angle but the only difference is the inclination. Here you can see the angle is shown like this. For example, in a clock, the minute hand moves from 12 and after one hour comes back on 12. Thus, the inclination between the position of the minute hand earlier and after one hour from the center of the clock is 360 degrees and thus this angle will be known as complete angle. Students, I hope you are clear with the types of angles. Now let's move forward. Look at the pictures given below and complete the table. You can see some shapes. First is scissors. The angle 
that is made on the scissors is less than 90 degrees. So what kind of an angle is this? It is an acute angle. Similarly, the angle on the arm of this man is equal to 90 degrees. So what kind of an angle is this? It is a right angle. In this kite, you can see that this angle is of the measure 90 degrees. So it is a right angle. So in this picture, the angle shown is greater than 90 degrees. So what kind of an angle is this? Obtuse angle. Similarly, on this notice board, the angle shown is greater than 90 degrees. So it is an obtuse angle. Let's move forward. Students, draw anything of your choice around the angle shown. Also write what kind of angle it is. The first one is done. First of all, we have been given an acute angle which is less than 90 degrees. So, you can see that we have used this acute angle to show the angle between the jaws of a crocodile. Are you scared of crocodiles? Yes, we all are scared. So, we have made a crocodile's mouth around an acute angle. Similarly, in other parts, we have been given angles and we have to make some pictures around them. In the second part, we have been given a right angle. So we have used this right angle to show the legs and base of a chair and also its back. So we have used the right angle to show a chair around it. Similarly, in the third part, we have been given an acute angle. So we have used this acute angle to show the roof of a house. Students, it's not a compulsion that you have to use a rooftop to show this angle. If you have any other picture or shape in your mind that can be made using this acute angle, then you can make that too. In the next part, we have been given an obtuse angle and we have made the hands of a clock around this angle. Now look at the time. It's 9 5. And this time, the hands of the clock are showing what angle? Yes, it's an obtuse angle. In the next part, we have been given an acute angle. Do you know what I am going to make with this acute angle? Let me give you a hint. It's your favorite and mine too. It is a yummy ice cream cone. See, we can make an ice cream cone around this acute angle. In the next part, we have been given an 
acute angle and we can use this acute angle to show the tip of a pen or a pencil so students what we have learned in this activity we had been given some angles and we had to make some pictures around them so i hope now you can understand where do we see angles around us shapes and towers look at the triangles given in the pictures in your book from the activity changing shapes can you guess why triangles are used in towers bridges etc so students we have seen that applying force on a triangle does not change its shape it means that triangles are stronger this is the reason that triangles are used in the towers bridges etc look around and find out more places where triangles are used so students there are many things around us where triangles are used for example roofs of houses railings on the streets electricity poles bridges and the yummy hot samosas you relish all these use the triangular shapes now let's learn about angles and time students there are many times in a day when the hands of a clock make a right angle can you tell sometimes when the hands of the clock make right angles let's see first example is 3 of clock when one hand that is the r hand is on 3 and the other hand that is the minute hand is on 12 so the angle made between them is a right angle similarly at 9 o'clock the r hand is on 9 and the minute hand is on 12 the angle made between them is a right angle now let's play some more with time right what kind of angle is made by the hands at these times also write the time let's see the first clock the time is 7:25 and the angle between the minute hand and the hour hand is less than 90 degrees thus it is an acute angle next is time 8:15 and we can clearly see the angle between the minute hand and the hour hand is more than 90 degrees so the angle will be an obtuse angle in the next part the time shown is 9 10 and the angle is clearly obtuse angle next part time shown is 9 25 and the angle is again clearly more than 90 degrees so it is an obtuse angle next the time shown is 10 o'clock and 
the angle between the minute hand and the hour hand is less than 90 degrees and thus it is an acute angle. Now students, next question is draw the hands of the clock when they make an angle which is less than a right angle. Also write the time. Students, there are plenty of times when the angles between minute hand and the hour hand of the clock are less than 90 degrees. Acute angles, for example, 855, 320, 640, 25 and so on. There are plenty of acute angles that you can find on clocks. So students, today we learnt that changing the angles brings about the change in the shapes. We also learnt that there are seven types of angles which are used in our daily life too. I hope that after playing such interesting games, you would have definitely learnt new things about angles and shapes.